guys, my name is Dougies and welcome to the Reapers Basic Train. In this video I will take you through the class of the closure in Infiltrator. I will do a quick rundown through my loadout that I'm using in game and will give you some advice where to put your certification points. After that I will show you some of my in-game actions. So let's start off with the loadout. For your primary weapon you should get a SMG. The two high recommended guns that I would advise you should be the Cyclone or the Blitz. If you already have Unlucky Tempest, I could advise you to get that one. It's already fully modified, you only need a better scope for that gun and it has the same statistics as the Cyclone. For the secondary I am switching between the underboss and the commissioner. It's more or less it will give you that extra punch when needed enemy is still alive and you are running out of ammo on your main gun. For the recon tool I am using both. For attacking uh, the control point I am using the recon darts to highlight the minimap uh, the surroundings of the control point. Uh, I am using the motion spotter when defending uh, to highlight if they are coming in with max rushes uh, that will appear on your minimap. The ability slot that I'm using in game is the nano armor clothing device. It's more or less of my aggressive playstyle as the infiltrator, and I'm not using that cloak that much. Um, for start, I would advise you to start with the hunter clothing device. It will give you that extra uh, clothing ability, and you can hunt down enemy in directives where you see them. For the suit ability, I am using the nano weave armor. It will give you the only that 20% extra resistance of small arms. But you can switch between uh, anything what you are liking. For the grenade I am using the EMP. Uh, because more or less it will destroy all enemy devices like motion spotter, regeneration shields. It will blur your vision when hit by it and also explodes the enemy mines that are surrounding the base. For the utility slot, I am playing more, most of it with the medic kit, but sometimes I am switching to the bouncing Betty. For the implant, I am using the battle hardened. It will reduce infantry camera shake from all explosives and also reducing infantry flinch when hit by enemy fire. For the certification points, I should start with a uh, better scope for your uh, primary weapon and a flashlight for your secondary. After that, get your both recon devices to level 3. And then go directly for your hacking ability. Your hacking ability cannot be found in your starting screen. You need to go to your infantry certification uh, menu that is highlighted on the bottom of your screen. Go for your infiltrator passive systems and you see the advanced equipment terminal hack. Bring that to level 5 uh, as fast as you can. It will give you that extra 50% uh, hacking speed and it will help you with your uh, objective directive in your directive slot. After you certificate your hacking I would advise to get your hunting clothing to level 4 and your nano weave to level 4 and then get your EMP and your medkit to level 2 so you already have two medkits if you are playing aggressive and bouncing betty to level 1 for already one bouncing betty. Now you are ready for the basic action of the close range infiltrator. For the continuing of the certification point you can first go for your extra equipment for your primary. Also you can go for your recon tool to fully level. Get your armor up and your suit slot equipment up. After that get your uh, fast your bouncing ready and your medical kits to level 4. So this is basically it for the loadout and certifications. I hope it's helpful for you and see you on the next Reaper's Basic Train. I will see you on the battlefield of Araxium. Tuck these out. It's so weird, I never got that. that.
Yes, I can't see. I'm blind. 